Hi, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to roll a ceiling. I'm also going to give you some rolling ceiling tips. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also if you're planning on doing any other decorating work please feel free to visit my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said, let's do this. The tools that I'm using for this task is a four to eight foot roller pole, a Purdy Colossus 12 inch roller sleeve, a Purdy adjustable paint roller frame and a roller bucket. Now, this is quite a big ceiling. So what I'm going to do is break it down into four sections and two halves with the first half being straight down the middle where you see the feature on either side of the wall. Tip number one would be put plenty of paint on your roller. Make sure the full circumference of the roller has paint on it. Not to the point where it's dripping everywhere though. Tip number two, when you have to put too much pressure on the roller with the extension pole, that is a signal to load the roller back up. Because if you're having to put pressure on the roller with a roller pole, that takes extra effort. And you don't need to do that, just load your roller back up. Tip number three, keep your roller bucket in front of you at all times because you don't want to load your roller up at one side of the room and then walk to the other side of the room when your roller's loaded up and it's not productive it's so much quicker just to load your roller up and get it straight on the ceiling you don't want to be walking around with it tip number four just roll nice and steady I've put this clip here to the normal speed so you can actually see the real speed that I'm rolling this ceiling. Tip number five, keep your roller flat to the ceiling. Tip number six, Keep your arms out and the roller in front of you and then that way you avoid getting splashes on your head or overspray on your head. You'll only sort of get it lightly on your arms by keeping your arms in front of you. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating work please feel free to check out my tool store the link is also in the description below and the final tip number seven just check the ends of your roller every now and again to make sure you haven't got to build up a paint on these plastic bits and if you do just wipe the thickest off with your brush if you would like to know how to paint a new plaster ceiling it will pop up at the end of the video on an end screen
if you look close enough, you'll notice how I've missed that thin bit right down the middle where the feature is. But just to let you know, I did realise when I'd finished and I did um, touch it up and it was only the first coat, so it didn't really matter as long as I got it coated up. Remember, it's progress, not perfection. And that's the ceiling fully rolled and at its first coat. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.